friend or their wife. And do you know what he does is probably the most popular sport in America. I was surprised to find this out. It's not football. It's not baseball. It's NASCAR. Yeah. Come on out here, Greg Biffle. I love speed. Can't ever get enough of it. It scares me a little bit. Well, it scares me too sometimes. It does. Are you ever really scared when you're behind the wheel? Well, I don't think you're scared, but I think your sensory system realizes danger, and that makes the you... The adrenaline is adrenaline. really pumping, isn't it? And it makes you very focused uh -huh. on what you're doing, because uh -huh. your life's at stake. You've been in some bad accidents, haven't you? Oh, I've been in a few. Let's talk a minute, because i got right. our pans heating up, because you're a meat and potato kind of guy. That's right. You? I love a good steak. So, we're making a steak with a mushroom bourbon sauce. Well, you were involved in a, in a really, really bad crash, I heard, going like 207 miles an hour, guys. Tell me about that accident. Well, that accident was unfortunate. Um, it was one of our best race cars. We'd won seven races in. And uh, the right front tire blew out on the fastest part of the racetrack at about 207 to 8 miles an hour. And the data showed that we hit the wall at 192 miles an hour. So I, I can't imagine. Yeah. Are the cars that good at protecting you? They're very good at protecting us, and, and our cars have gotten much safer mm -hmm. in the last four years, but still, at that kind of speed, something's going to happen. Just the, just the jolt of it. Yes, it was very fast. I dislocated my right shoulder, cracked my sternum, a couple ribs, uh, knocked me out. You know, so, it did? Yeah. Did the car catch on fire? Yeah, the car was on fire uh, quite a bit. I woke up Speaking and... Speaking of on fire. Yes, exactly. <laughs> up and uh, I, it was time to get out. It was. <laughs> How long was it before you were ready to race again? Uh, I was testing in a month, back in the in race. In a month. Point. All right, go ahead and I pull watch. your pan over. So they're good and hot. I so put the, a little olive oil in it. All right, look at these ribeyes. Now, a ribeye happens to be my favorite cut of meat because it has um, a lot of marbling in it, which gives it good flavor. It comes from the lower part of the rib on the beef. And uh, it's just a yummy cut. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just going to season our steaks up. All right, go All right. ahead and dig in, Greg. Rub your meat. Oh, you want to rub those flavors in. Gotcha. And if you like a lot of pepper, put it heavy. Okay. I have to put a lot of pepper for my husband. He's, I like pepper. He's a spicy man. And look, I'm going to kind of just do him around. Now, how do you like your meat? What texture? Um, I like it medium. You do? All right, I like mine kind of medium rare. So, just put your steak in your pan. Searing helps to keep all the juices inside the meat by creating a crust on the outside of the steak. Yes. What we're going to do next is purely for fun. Well, we're going to crank, if you'll pardon the pun, we're going to crank this up just a little bit. Okay. So what I want you to do now... I got one too, huh? <laughs> I like it. So what I want you to do now, darling, is to start your engine. All right. Whoa. Exhaust on the car. Is it? Or sometimes that's what it feels like inside. It, it feels that hot? 150 degrees for four and a half hours. Uh, oh no, I've, I've, I've done that in the kitchen. All right, so what we're going to do, y'all, while our steaks are searing on one side, we're going to sear them on the other. So here we go. What if it catches on fire? Blow it out. All right. Or run. <laughs> There's a fire extinguisher right where this was, right? Oh, yeah, honey. We keep a fire extinguisher near our kitchen. Absolutely. But it's fun. I mean, yeah. I can just see you for your woman. I understand you're engaged. Yes. Did you bring your fiancé? Yes, I did. You did? Where is she? She's uh, right over here in the front row. What 
is your name? Uh, it's Nicole. Nicole, come on up here, honey. Come join us. How are you? Hi, how are you? Well, you're just precious. Y'all make a great match. Thank you. Thank you. Do you like this, Nicole? I do, because he's cooking. That's great. Okay, Nicole, you want to try this, honey? I can do it. I can do it. Thank you. All right, now come on up here and just sear that steak. Now, how do you like yours? What temperature? Medium well. <laughs> medium well. Now, since you like it medium well, you get a hamburger, honey. Okay. Greg and I... Right. Y'all don't go anywhere because we're heating it up here in the kitchen with Greg Biffle. And I got a Coming surprise up. for you. You got a surprise for me? I have a surprise for you when we come back. And we got a nice mustard sauce coming up for these days. Next.